Okay, y'all, welcome back to my channel. So, this is going to be part one of a little um, braiding sewing series that I'm going to be doing. So, this particular sewing is going to be for, um, well, it's going to be like a full sewing with no leave out. I'm going to show y'all how to do that. This is the braiding pattern that I use. And you also can use it for like crochet braids and stuff like that. And um, so yeah, let's get started with part one. Okay y'all, so this is my mannequin, my model. I have not named her yet, but I got her off, off Amazon a while ago. And as you can see, she has African American hair you can say it's like a um blowout or something like that but it's really really thick so that's why i decided to get her girl so it can be more of our type of texture so anyways as you can see her scalp looks real but anyways for this sewing i'm gonna do a side part so i'm gonna go ahead and part the parts to the side as you can see just try to get it as straight and as long as possible All right, so then I'm just going to part a really thin piece of um, hair on one side of the braid. And then as you can see, I'm just going to start braiding back until I get to the end of the part. Now, this is really important. Um, you can call this like an anchor braid, but this is where we're going to have our part when we finish our sewing. And this is what's going to make it look natural. So you might want to make the braid a little small. Um, just because the smaller the better. And the more natural it's going to look. So as you can see, I've done a small braid on both sides. Then I'm just going to pull these two braids together and braid it to the end. Then I'm going to part another thin um, section for a little braid all around her nape area and you'll see me parting that in just a moment um it was harder to part on the mannequin it was just weird but anyways just go ahead and part off the little section around the perimeter and then you're gonna braid that all you gotta do is just follow the part and then you know you'll 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 get there
So then after that, I just parted another thin um, section just going like around the other side. Um, I guess where the bang would be and I'm just going to part that. I'm just going to braid that, I'm sorry, all the way back and then connect it with the braid that I just did on the other side. So now you can start parting like your next braid and it doesn't have to be that small like I actually make mine a little bigger just to save on time and because at the end it's going to be you know nice and flat anywho. So um, yeah that's why I do that and what I'm just going to do is start braiding it and basically you see the little outline of how I started the first braid on each side I'm just gonna follow that outline the whole time until I get to the back of my head until I finish and so um, I'm also gonna show you guys how to pick up the braid from the previous braid that you did and um, connect them all together hopefully all that made sense <laughs> if not I do apologize Alright, so I was just showing you guys how I was going to lay the braid. So as you can see, depending on how long your client hair is, like, um, that depends on when you should feed in the previous braid. So I always braid just a little bit and then start to pull the braid tight so that I can just feed it in. And it's really easy to feed in, y'all, like... It's really really easy and another thing is I'm not using braiding hair on this mannequin but if it was like a real client I would use braiding hair So right here, I'm just going to take, you know, the two anchor braids that I made at the very beginning of the um, video. I'm just going to take those and braid them straight down with the rest of the hair. And as you can see, I'm still pulling up the braid from the previous um, braid that I did. And I'm just going to braid it down.
All right, so for the remaining of the hair, which should be two braids, um, I would sew it in a circle like I'm showing you guys right here, and that will keep the braid flat, and then um, you can just, you know, fit the other one in between the braids, and then you'll have a flat base. So this is the braiding pattern that I will use for a full sew-in no leave out and it's really easy for your client to take it out um i just used bobby pins to show y'all how i would do it but anyways i hope you guys like this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and come back for part two bye